Once again, we have John Hassler here at the Live It Up set. I think he's been with me since year one, seven years ago, and it's so exciting to have him back because every time we're learning something new because computers change that quickly. How are you? I'm very good, Donna. How are you? Good, good. Yeah. You tend to keep everybody up on their toes in terms of the IT world. What have you been doing lately? Oh, we've been doing a lot. Um, we've been getting uh, inundated with you know, requests and, and questions mainly about information security, cyber security. Uh, we can't go a week you know, without seeing something in the paper or in the news about some type of a hack or something like that that goes on. So even when we try to you know, stay calm and it, it's pretty, it, understandably our business owner clients, they get upset you know, when, they, when they hear these things in the news. So it really keeps us on our toes. You know, so uh, we, we're the, we try to be the quiet guys in the background because you really don't want to see your IT. Your IT people are supposed to be working in the background just to help keep things running. And if something should happen, you know, we're the ones that you'll call and, and we'll go out and take care of it. What seems to be the problem? Why is there more hacking going on? Is it the economy? Are people just trying to steal more money from people? Or people just think it's fun to break <laughs> into all, somebody? I think it's all of the above. But unfortunately, as we're finding out now, a lot of it is like state-sponsored terrorism coming from other countries. And you can even track it. When you see things happen uh, from behind the scenes, like we use, we use products that are called firewalls. And uh, basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a combination of software and, and hardware components that you put at, on, the, on the edge of a client's um, internet connection. So what it's doing is it's looking to see who's trying to get in, what's trying to get out. And you, most often, you when we track it, you see so so many times these threats and attacks are coming from overseas, usually Asia. Uh, you you hear a lot about, and I don't want to pick on countries, but it's out there. We can just look at the news and and, and we see, see what's, what's happening. happening. So it is it is kind of um, disturbing when you hear that. I mean, we could even just go back to last Christmas with that movie that was coming out, and all the big hubbub that was going around. It all leaked. The whole, the whole leak, and that was, that one was really disturbing because if you stop and think about it, not only did they hack in and, and steal information, they actually read through it, and they were reading documents, and then they were releasing that information out to the media, and it was released, and that's really horrible because it ruins people's lives. I personally think it was a very good idea for them not to release it in the movie theaters during the holiday season because, you know what, you, you know, we, we have first responders, we have police, law enforcement. Why do they need to be, you know, out during, in harm's way during, they shouldn't be out in harm's way anyway, but especially during the holiday season, I thought that was a great move hmm. to say, you know what, we're not gonna release it. I thought it was smart. A lot of people said, oh, we, we gave in to terrorism. We didn't, we were just smart. Right. Right. Right, we're not gonna be so bullied into one thing or another. We'll make the decision and, and respond appropriately. Correct, and you know, technology is fantastic. I love it. It's, there's so many good things you can do. In, in fact, I learn from everybody else around me. I mean, at the end of the day when I get home, I really don't want to uh, deal, deal with technology, believe it or not. You know, but I'll be out at dinner and I see my friends putting stuff in their watches. Oh, yeah. You know, checking their, their calories and their Fitbit <laughs> and all this stuff. And I just laugh and they say, you don't do this? I said, no. I said, absolutely not. My newspaper, I still read the paper, you know, in paper. Um, I do read books on my iPad, you know, when I travel, but I still like holding a book in my hand, you know. So I'm like a 21st century dinosaur in some aspects, but I don't mind, I don't mind that moniker. <laughs> well, you know, you talk about friends asking you things. I know one thing for a fact, and that's you're a good community member. You know, you're philanthropic, you're like everybody else. You might have all this knowledge about technology, and you might be dealing with a lot of espionage and crazy things happening <laughs> during the day. Maybe like I could be in Nelson DeMille's <laughs> book. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Crazy things. But right. but when it comes down to it, you're a family man. You're just like yes. everybody else, and you're just there to kind of like take your knowledge and help each, each person you can. True, and we get paid for it. Right. You know, we all have our niche, and this is what we do, and uh, I've been doing it for a very long time. Uh, the business started in 1988, and I'm really proud of that, that we're able to continue working here on Long Island uh, in Manhattan. And I uh, have a great staff, as always. The same people. Every time I come on, I always get you know give them all the credit because they really do they really do the job. It's excellent. And we were yep. also talking about a wellness program. It's almost as if if you take care of your uh, information, you know, by coming to you before they mm -hmm. have a problem, things can get a little smoother. 
Oh, that's correct. Okay. That, that's correct. I mean, uh, making sure you're, you're saving multiple copies of your information. That's your data backups. Uh, redundancy, we talk about that all the time with our clients. And, and, you know, it's funny. Now when we have these conversations with our clients, they understand it. You know, because it's been, we've been with them so long and they, it's all around us. And that makes it easier for all of us. So as I'm trying to learn about their business or their organization so I understand when their peaks are and when, when their lows are, they, it, 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 they understand what we're trying to do for them as well and they appreciate it. So uh, it's actually quite rewarding when you, when you help someone or you get the call and they say, oh, you guys did fantastic, thank you, you saved the day. You know, we have a couple of funny, goofy things that happen too, uh, some I really can't talk about because <laughs> we're all human. Right. But, uh, you know, you just have to laugh at yourself. But, you know, you could always laugh if you have a built-in safety net and like a backup, good security, and good communication with your staff, telling them, listen, we don't want you doing this on our company computers, you know. Um, they're there for a reason, and it's, and it's for us to produce a product or deliver a service, and, and that's what we do for our clients. That makes sense, so thank you so much. And I know you brought me a little present. Yes, yes, oh, I've been waiting is. for this. Uh-oh. Here you go, please, feast your eyes on this. So like gift certificate? Just don't put it in front of the camera, because the camera might break. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, I know. I know the joke behind this. So when I first started doing the television show, like seven years ago, I had headshots, and John kept it up in his office, and so all of his clients get to see it. And now I have a headshot of John. I will. I will display this proudly. Yeah, you can put you that in your so garage. Funny. Oh you know, my goodness, something like this. So funny. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. My so if you're looking for some computer uh, help or just some laughs, uh, John's the guy to call. So stay tuned for more on Live It Up.